I can't even begin to contain my excitement. I've wanted to make this video for years, even before I started vlogging, even before I started doing anything with video, I knew that I was gonna make this video someday. Now, this has been a dream of mine, like a serious dream of mine since like 2014, I think. And I was finally able to make it happen and I uh, could not be more excited about it. I've been waiting since November, December. I've been waiting since the beginning of December for this. I found out at the beginning, the first weekend of December, that this was a possibility, and then I was just waiting on people. I'll explain more, but you guys, I did it. Check it out. I got a van. Let's do a tour. Come on in. All right, people, so we're doing this together. So check it out. Here is the sitting area. So I can take this out, apparently, and flip this seat around, and that will give us two rows. So this can hold six people. But if I leave this set up like it is, this turns into a bed. Dope, right? All right, we got the driver area, passenger area. We'll go up there in a second. Let's go back here. So, we got all sorts of cabinets, right? Cool. Um, I think that's a speaker, I don't know. I still have to learn about this. There are solar panels. There's a solar panel up top, and this is telling us how charged the extra battery is, I think. Gotta learn about that. Um, let's see. We've got a sink. A two burner stove right here. We've got an awesome little fridge that can be run off of electric, the battery, or gas, which is under there. It's been converted to Italian gas. I'll have to convert it back when I get to America. Like I said, all sorts of cabinets. Okay. Um, this is a outer structure that you can hook up outside so you can technically sleep four people, six people. Hey, there's me. Check out in here though. We've got a toilet and a sink shower. So come on in, take a shower. Yeah, a little tight, but I'll take it, right? And then this, my friends. Okay, I haven't done this yet. Let's see. That folds down, and this slides out, and then these comfy foam mattresses turn into a bed. And then we got a couple vents up top, and let me take you outside and back to the driver's side. Look at this bad puppy. All right, so we got this abnormally large steering wheel, which I'm a huge fan of. Apparently, uh, it's a pump, foot pump, for the windshield wiper fluid, which is under there. I'm cool with it. Uh, this is to remind me that it's only yay high, 3.3 meters. Um, we got a fold-out DVD player thing that I think I can use for navigation. We got a backup cam. Dope, right? We got these huge sunscreen. Here, here's the mirrors. Dope, right? We got an armrest. All sorts of stuff. The engine's here, so to get to it, you need to remove this whole panel thing and take the passenger seat out. Kind of cool. We got a little solar panel that keeps the battery down there charged. And it's a four gear. Uno, due, tre. It's in first right now. I don't... You guys, I haven't driven stick in three years. I gotta relearn. All right, um, let's talk some more back there. All right, so, you guys, I'm so stoked uh, to be sharing this with you. This is a really awesome experience for me. Um, I still don't have a name for the bus yet. I'm thinking further. Uh, there's 
I think there's a documentary. I don't know. I have it on. Uh, I bought it on YouTube. It's about Ken Kesey and his band of Merry Pranksters. They took this bus around the U.S. back in the day. Um, and that kind of is the inspiration why I think I want to go for this name. But anyways, yeah, so I started getting into this back in like 2014. It had been kind of an idea of mine to live in a school bus. And then I was like, oh, what about a van, buy my own school bus. And so I've been kind of planning this out in my head. And it's been something that I've really wanted to do. And <clears throat> I told Kim and Sean, I said, hey, you guys, I'm, I'm really interested in getting a Vita van. Because I found out that Sean had worked on cars, all this stuff. And I was at this swim meet back in December, um, and Kim and Sean were like, hey, we got a friend that might be looking to sell. We think you can convince them, try it out. So after I got back from the swim meet, I went with Kim up to these people's places, these people's place, and uh, I checked it out. And right there on the spot, we talked about it, made an offer. And the thing that's taken so long is custom. So I talked to our people here on base about taking this back to America. They said they needed to talk to customs because you can bring vi um, vehicles back with you that you bought in Europe, but they have to be, I think it's older than 25 years or something. So this is a 1979 uh, Volkswagen LT, LD something. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'll get you guys specifics later. But um, yeah, so finally heard back from customs mid July, January rather, and uh, finally signed the paperwork and everything last week. So it's officially mine. I own a beat up camper. So I'm really excited about that. Um, that's kind of like the backstory for it. I'm excited to do some trips this summer all over Sicily, maybe up to mainland Italy, probably to Sardinia. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it takes me because, you know, working full time on the radio, obviously, if you watch last week's video, it kind of gave you a brief description of my job. I'm pretty busy. I work a full time job. I volunteer half the year with the swim team. I also have a couple of organization, other organizations I volunteer with Red Cross, USO. Um, and then I'm also going to school. So I'm really busy, but it's important to take time for myself. So I definitely am going to be taking some trips with this van, going to be getting some great videos. Um, I knew, know this video is probably going to garner some new followers, so thank you for watching this. Uh, you know, this is, this 52 series is kind of a series to hold me accountable um, to my video production and my products. I was in a slump last year. You can watch the previous videos of 52 to kind of see more about that. But uh, this is to hold me accountable and make sure that I'm actually working on improving my video skills. And, you know, while filming this video, I can already tell that there's parts that I need to improve on, stuff that I want to do better. So we'll see in the future. Hopefully I'll have another um, even more improved video about the camper once I get to know it a little bit better because, honestly, I don't know about half this stuff. So I'm going to really need to put it into use and get a get a good feel for that. So if you are just watching this video, thank you for watching. Um, if this is your first time checking out the channel, I know I barely have any followers, but hopefully that improves. So you can help that out by liking, subscribing, obviously following me on social media, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching this video and I will be back next week with a new one. Also, I'm going to vlog this weekend. I'm going to be in Naples. So be sure to check out my vlog as well. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a week. Later.